All right, everyone, happy Tuesday. Welcome to Lit. We are gonna um, use our band today. We have an upper body segment and lower body and core. So just leave it off to the side for your warm up. And we're gonna get started. Nice and easy, we're gonna step out into squat, lift up, and then go the other side. Ooh, I feel my inner thighs. They are sore. So step out to the side and come back up. 30 seconds here, keep it going. It is going to be a beautiful day today. Should be nice weather. It's supposed to get to almost 80, I think, actually. Keep going, everybody. Couple more seconds with these squats. There we go. Stepping up, dropping those hips, lifting up. Down and up. Drop and lift, warm it up nice and easy. We've got four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna step to the front. Keep those feet together. Step back with that right leg, lunge, reach, inhale, and exhale. Step together, switch. Left leg, reach up, step together. Just alternate these lunges and these reaches. If it feels good, taking, those, taking your head up and adding that little back bend here. Warming up the spine. Keep going from the side. Little mini back bend. Waking up the spine. Keep going, we're doing each movement for a minute here. Step back and reach. Tucking those hips under. Keep going, about 10 seconds. Keep it up. Good, nice and slow, bracing that core. You've got three, two, and one. Okay, next one, we're going to come to the end of our mat. We're gonna reach those arms up, inhale. We're gonna cactus those arms, so pull the elbows down, and then exhale, fold forward. Walk out to a plank. Want you to do four mountain climbers. Use the chest. Walk it back out. Reverse that swan dive. Inhale. Exhale. Cactus. Pull those elbows down. Take it forward. Walk it out. Four mountain climbers total. Knees to chest. Walk it back. Repeat this sequence for a full minute. Cactus. Exhale. Come down. Walk it out. Four mountain climbers. Those can be fast or slow. Inhale, reach those arms. Exhale, cactus, pull those elbows down. Keep going, walk it out. This will be your last one. Once you're done with those mountain climbers, come into down dog. And come back to plank. Now we're gonna reach for that opposite knee or ankle, inhale. Exhale, plank knee, or ankle taps. Down dog and reach. Plank, down dog and reach. So really warming up the upper body. Keep going. Couple more. First four, three, two, and one. Come down to the floor. All the way down to your chest and belly. We're gonna do Superman. We're gonna inhale, lift, exhale, lower. And again, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Warming up that back side. 30 seconds, inhale, and exhale. Keep that chin down. Lift everything off the mat, keep those legs straight, inhale, and exhale. We got a couple more here. Keep it moving. For three, two, one. Press yourself up. Come down onto your back. Here's your last warm up exercise. We're gonna do some bridges. We're just gonna lift and lower. 30 seconds. Lift and lower. Squeeze those glutes. Lift and lower. Squeeze and lift. 30 seconds up 
and down. Lift the last 10. We're gonna hold our hips as high as we can and just pulse out to finish. So right here, find that highest point. I want you just to pulse and pulse. Little pulses here, warming up those glutes. Keep pulsing for three, two, and one. Slowly come on down. Give those knees a hug, bring them into your chest. Gently rock side to side. Go over to one side, press yourself up. <clears throat> Slowly come on up. Head comes up last. Couple shoulder rolls at the top. Shake it out. All right, bring those feet nice and wide, full body roll. Roll the shoulders, inhale, bend those knees. Drop the head, exhale, take it up. Let's do two more of those, inhale. And exhale, one more. Take it down, stay right here. Drop that right shoulder, little twist. Inhale up, exhale, drop that left shoulder, pushing those knees out. Come on up, make circles with those knees. I just want you to open those hips. And we're going to start with upper body, little lower body sprinkled in. Stretch out anything else that you need to. So again, just our band today. All right, so we've got four movements that we're going to do. Sort of yoga bar-esque. We'll start with that right leg out, left leg back. So we're in this warrior two position, but all the focus is our upper body here. So as we come down and bend our knee, we're gonna add a pull here. So a squeeze and pull against that band. Almost like a high row. We do 45 seconds on one side, and then we'll switch, and then we'll do the other. And then our second movement is going to be a lunge with a row. You're gonna place that band right underneath your foot, and you're gonna row while you're in this low lunge. And then we switch, and do the same thing on the other side, okay? So first one, our band is right our wrists, 45 seconds. Let's start in that nice wide sort of warrior two position. Open that right hip. All right, 45 seconds. Let's start. So leg is straight, arm goes straight. You're gonna pull back as you bend that front leg. Exhale, so it's inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. We're gonna feel that core working a little bit. Because we're in this warrior two position. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, pull. So you want those shoulders away from your ears. And you want those elbows to go all the way back. Perfect. Now you can take out the warrior two, right? And maybe just do the arms. A lot of different options here. Three, two, and one. Okay, 10 seconds. Just roll the shoulders. You're gonna do that again, but not the other leg. So rotate that left tip out. Here we go, arms out. Ready, set, go. Exhale, pull. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, perfect. So I want you to think of stitching your rib cage together. Woo! Now if you don't have a mini loop band, you could use tubing instead. You're pulling that band towards your chest. You're also pulling apart. Woo, feeling that core already. You've got about 15 seconds. Keep moving, this is the arm motion. Inhale and exhale. So looks from the side. Keep going, less than 10. You should already be feeling those arms. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's place that band around our left foot. The ball of your left foot. Ball of your left foot. Right leg back. Nice slow lunge. You take that band in your right hand and we row. Inhale and exhale. Turn a low lunge. Back heel off the floor. Just rowing with that right arm. Woo! Just gonna feel that weight in that front leg. Now if you want a little less intensity, you can come out of that lunge. And maybe you're just here instead, in a hinge position. Inhale and exhale, keep going. So a nice strong row, back is flat. Keep going. You didn't have the 
band, you could use a weight here. It's gonna feel a little harder with that band. Woo, shake it out. Which other side? Come on, the, just the ball of the foot, of that right foot. Now left arm, set up in that lunge. Let's go. Inhale, exhale, pull. So it's a small movement, you see. Woo. Nice and slow, working on the way up and the way down. We're not moving those hips. Just pulling that arm back. You can be in that lunge or sort of in this hinge position. Just the arm moving, reach and pull. Woo. Inhale and exhale. That's 45 seconds, tuck those hips. You got 10 left. I know you're gonna feel that front leg. Keep pulling. Exhale. Make sure that band is secure under your foot. And relax. Woo! Okay, we're gonna do that again, starting from the top. So hands around that wrist, or band around the wrist. For you two, right leg slip that. Inhale, exhale, let's go. Pull back. So this is the upper body focus but you're also working that lower body, right? We're using that band for the upper body. Woo, inhale, exhale, pull. You can do your hands like this, or you can do wrists, whatever works. Woo, inhale and exhale. It's a small movement, but we're feeling it. Keep going. Less than 10. Can you pull those elbows back a little bit more? Pull them back. You've got four, three, two, and one. You get just 10 seconds, quick little shake, stretch, same thing, other leg. Woo, feeling that burn in those arms. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, pull, and bend that knee. Inhale. And exhale, remember it's a wide stance for that warrior two. Exhale, inhale, exhale, reach and pull. Keep going, just check it out. I'm just making sure shoulders aren't coming up. We wanna relax them back. Perfect, good. Hey Linda, hey Jarnetta, looking good everybody. And you have the option of taking out that warrior two lunge. Maybe it really is just upper body, right? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Coming up. Keep moving. Woo, feeling that burn in the upper body. And stop, good job. Woo. Place it around the ball of your left foot. Getting that lunge. Ready, set, let's row. Right arm is rowing first. Well, we'll switch, just by matter, we'll do both whatever you want to start with. So, just that arm is moving. Inhale, exhale. You want to keep your hips super steady. Notice how flat my back is. Same thing here. Maybe you hold on to a wall. If you practice a warrior three while you're rowing. Woo, you want a little extra. Keep going. Tuck those hips under, right? We don't want to fill that lower back taking over. Pull that arm and elbow back. Be careful of your strap. Make sure it's secure. Three, my goodness, two, one. Okay, shake it out. Woo! Same thing other side. If you don't have the band, just use the dumbbell, right? Okay, here we go. Make sure it's secure before you row, or else it's gonna flip up in your face, okay? Here we go. Make sure it's nice and secure and start to row. Whew. Inhale, exhale. Again, just the arm moving. Nice and slow. Now, if maybe that lunge is too much, you're down here. That's gonna make it a lot less intense. So totally up to you which way you do this. Whew. This is actually a lot better for that lower back if you start to feel like that's taking over. Come down in this kneeling position and row. We got a couple more seconds before we do our final set. 
So maybe you need to do that final set. And come on up, shake it out. Woo, okay, one more time from the top. Everybody, we are feeling that burn. We'll get a quick break after this. Warrior two, let's go. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and start. We're pulling back. Inhale, exhale. So we opened up that hip, right? Your knee is right in line with your big toe. Flip down, make sure that it is before you continue. Maybe you're just right here. That works too. Oh my goodness. Inhale and exhale from the side. You're bringing that band right to your chest. You're pulling those elbows back. Less than 10 seconds. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Three, two, one. Woo. Other side. Remember, open from your hip first. Keep wide. Open up, rotate. Let's go. Make sure your knee is right in line with that big toe. Check it out before you keep going. Woo! Inhale and exhale. Looking good, everybody. Now, I want to make sure we're not arching our back, right? Tuck that in. Yep. Keep that core nice and strong. Keep pulling. Relax those shoulders. Last time we do this, we got about 15 more seconds, and we're going to take it to the floor. We're going to do the kneeling. Kneeling row. And switch that up. Less than 10. Oh, my goodness. Can you pull apart a little more? Woo. Bring that band all the way to your chest. Three, two, one. Okay. Come down onto your knee. Maybe you're doing a, a, a kneeling lunge. Band around your left foot. Right arm is going to row. Let's go. Lean forward slightly. Other hand is on your hip, not on your leg. Back leg is just relaxed. You can tuck the toe if you want. Keep going. So here, this should feel a lot better on your back. That lower back, and you can focus a little more on your row. Woo. A lot of core here too. Keep going. Make sure that band is secure before you start pulling. You don't want it to flip up into our face. Oh my goodness. Elbow back. Come on. We've got four, three, two, and one. Switch. Ten seconds in between. Whew. Remember, stitch that rib cage together nice and strong. Here we go. Run the ball to foot. Make sure it's secure before you start rowing. And go. Woo. Inhale, exhale, just that arm. And you're leaning forward ever so slightly. Wrap the shoulders, tuck that elbow back. Keep going, show you from this view. Hip knee angle in a nice straight line. Keep going, we'll get a little break after this. And then we're gonna place the band around the legs to get a little more lower body focus for our second circuit in three, in two, one. Awesome job. Take 45 seconds right here, shake it out. Grab some water. <coughs> Excuse me, how are we doing? Good? Okay, feeling that burn. All right, here we go. Lower body focus. So we're gonna place the band right above the knees. We've done some of these before. We've got two here. Right above the knees. Actually, this one's gonna be around the ankles. Excuse me. Around the ankles. Just like this, okay? So we're gonna focus on those thighs, but also glutes. We're gonna go three, two, one. Bring it back in. Three, two, one. One. So three little steps. Okay, left side first. Here we go. We're starting in five seconds. Stand around those ankles. Left leg first. You go up three, a little further two, all the way and drop on one. Bring it back in. 
Not all the way in, but close. Three, two, one. And you push out as far as you can. Three, two, one. Woo, there's Linda. Three, two, one. So just that left leg, focusing on that right side. Three, two, go at your own pace. I want three steps. One a little further out. And on that last one, you go as far as you can and as low as you can. Drop. Keep going. Three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Same thing, right side. Okay? Same thing. Here we go. Three, two, one, nice and slow. Let's start. I'll show you from the side. Three, two, one. So see how low I get? Push, really push, use those glutes. My chest is up, right? I'm not here. Use your booty. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Drop as low as you can on that last, that third one. Push. Woo! We're working into those outer thighs. Keep going. You also want to make sure that your hip, your knee, your ankle stay in a straight line. So watch those joints. Yeah, nice and slow. Drop. Perfect. Just that one leg doing all the work. Pushing out three steps and stop. Good job. All right, come on down, everyone. You want to make sure you have a mat for this. Okay, so these are going to be clamshells. Come on down. Hey, Catherine, you mentioned these the other day. This one you are going to pull up above your knees. Make sure you have your, you're on a soft surface here. Okay? You're all the way down. We'll be on, we'll do both sides. It doesn't matter how you start. I'm on my right side. Knees to the chest, set up with me. So knees close in, feet together. You're gonna lift them off the mat and you're gonna open and close. So your feet are off the mat and they stay together the whole time. All right, and then the clamshell, it's open and close, right? So 45 seconds, get set up. We're starting in four. In three, two, let's go. So knees close in, lift the legs off the floor, keep your feet together, open and close. Your other hand can just come in front here, open and close. Your knees are off the floor, your feet are off the floor. Now regular version, you do keep your legs on the floor. So if you want to start there, you can. And it's just a little lift. You're going to feel your glutes. Keep going. I'm going to tilt my screen. You got to go for a whole 45 minutes or 45 seconds. Oh, wow. Damn shells are 45 minutes would suck. Keep going, everyone. Nice and slow with this one. No rushing. Three, two, one. Other side. So take a look at my screen again. Have a better angle here. You're all the way down. Okay. Knees in together, lift off the floor, clamshell, go. Go ahead and start, 45 seconds. So your bottom leg doesn't move, it's just your top leg. Try to keep your feet together the whole time. Now if it's too much, you can start with that bottom leg on the floor, right? Oof. I'm gonna fill those hips and glutes. Feet are kissing. So your feet are together the whole time. Whew. Upper body should be relaxed. Maybe your head is all the way down. Couple of different options here. We've got five, four, oh my gosh, three, two, one. Awesome, come on up. Back to our first one. Slide that band around the ankles. Slide it down. Our three, two, one squat. Let's go. It's three, two, one. Lift. Three, two, one. Step out, squat. Left side. We'll do both. So it doesn't really matter what you start with. On that third one, you drop it low. Whew. It's three, two, one. Come back up. Three, two. Press against that band. 
Slightly higher than those ankles. Three, two, we're really working that booty here. Oh my goodness. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Keep it up. Woo, 10 seconds. Take it out, get ready for the other side. And then we go right into those clamshells. So just get ready for that after this. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, drop. Bring it in. Nice and slow, row up. Three, two. On that last one, drop it low. Let me see. So there's always tension on that band, right? Never relaxed. Perfect. If you don't have the band, you can have um, heavy weights and place them on your um, shoulders, but you're still doing the same movement. Yep, perfect. Nice and slow. Good, keeping the other hip steady. 10 seconds and then those clamshells. That's gonna be a quick transition, okay? And drop. Come on down. I'm on my right side first. Come on down, clamshells. Bend above the knees, quick transition, get there. Three, two, let's go. Bring those knees in. Feet together, just lift your top leg. Other hand can be in front and for balance. Inhale, exhale, this is slow. Woo, just lift your top leg. You want that extra challenge, your legs are off the floor. Feet together. Woo. That's too much. Start with the legs on the floor. And just lift your top leg. Oh my goodness, this is my weak side. Woo. So I'm keeping my legs on the floor. Open and close, everybody. Keep those feet together. I can't see, but keep them together. And switch it. Switch, switch. Roll over, swing those legs around. Again, knees close into your chest. Form is really important here, so knees in. Feet together, go. Look at my screen, make sure you're doing this. See how my knees are all the way to my chest. Feet together, open, close if you want it harder, legs off the floor. That's an extra challenge. Woo. Bottom leg does not move. Oh my goodness, slow it down. You're only gonna lift a couple inches, that's the point. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling those glutes. We got one more round after this, 10 seconds. One more of each one, burning out those legs. Go on everybody, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. Drop that band right around the ankles. And calves, here we go, here we go. Three, two, one, step up, squat. Go, it's three, two, one. Oh my goodness. Three, two, one. Great job, everybody. This is our last round. And then we have core coming up. Perfect. Good, I wanna check out those clamshells, but I probably won't be able to see you on the floor. That's okay. <clears throat> Keep going, everybody. Just wanna make sure that those knees are close into your chest when you're on your side. For those clamshells. Whew. Keep going. Remember, just one leg at a time here. One side. Can you drop a little lower? It's your last round. And stop, 10 seconds. Oh my goodness. Woo, who's feeling that booty? You are, you're doing it right, good, okay. Other leg, go. Three steps. On that last one, drop it low. Bring it back in. Woo! Come on. Push against that band, push against that resistance. If you don't have it, heavy weights at your chest or shoulders you can still do that same movement. Woo, the band keeps us honest though, right? Kind of working the whole time. Woo. 
Less than 10. Always tension. Always tension there. Come on. And come on down. Clamshells, clamshells. Okay. Here we go. On your side. Oh, band above the knees, sorry. Band above the knees on your side. Three, two, go. Knees into your chest. Feet together and then start lifting. Oh my goodness. Your heels, keep them together. Keep your heels together. Very important. Maybe head is all the way down. Oh my goodness. Keep going, everybody. Gonna give you a couple cues here. So your knees are close to your chest and you're just lifting your top leg. Opening up like a clamshell, very slow. Feet together. Make sure those heels stay glued together, everybody. Come on, you got five, four, three, two, switch. Other side, switch, switch. Last time, you can take a look at my screen, make sure you're doing what I'm doing here. Three, two, let's go. Let's go. Woo, you're on your side, knees into your chest, lifting that top leg. Feet do not separate. Oh my goodness. If you want it harder, lift your legs off the floor, right? Keep them in the air. Don't move your bottom leg. About 20 seconds, then we get a break. Don't move that bottom leg, just your top leg. Fill in those glutes. Slow it down. Keep those feet together. Lift and lower. Maybe you gotta do it without the band. Ooh, these are hard. Four, three, two, and stop. Great job, everybody. Woo, take that band off. Awesome, awesome. Okay, coming up next, what we finish with is core. Take 45 seconds, not off the band yet. Grab some water. Woo! How we doing? Feeling those hips and glutes. Good job, everybody. All right, we got three core. So take a look at my screen. Grab water, stretch it out. Take a look at my screen. We have the band around our feet. Balls of our feet. We've done this one before. Knee like that. Bicycle. Hand behind the head. Bicycle, right? Left, right, left. Then you start to add that shoulder and that twist. Okay, nice and slow. And then we'll bring this up above the knees again. And we're gonna do plank taps. Right here, on your elbows, out to the side. Want a little extra? You can add the hop. It's very low impact. And then our last one, you can come on down. We're gonna get ready in just a couple seconds. Last one, we're gonna take this off. And we're gonna come back. Now I'm gonna hold like this. We're gonna do a row. See the twist, single arm row. All right, so because the on and off in different positions is a lot, we're gonna start with our bicycles and we're gonna do three rounds of that back to back and superset it. So it's gonna be a little bit harder, same thing with the plank taps and then three rounds of this, okay? So come on down, bicycle crunches are first, band around the balls of those feet, three rounds. All right, these are 30 seconds and not 45. Come on down, we're starting in three, in two, let's go. So set up hands behind the head, tabletop, inhale and exhale. So first get the legs going, once you get that, start to add your twist. Take the opposite shoulder to knee. And this is slow inhale and exhale. Lifting the shoulder, not the elbow, right? So bring your shoulder to your knee. Keep going for three, two, one. 10 seconds, relax, just stay right here. Just drop the head and relax 10 seconds. Two more times, I want you to slow it down. Ready, set, in three, in two, let's go. Hand behind the head, lift the shoulders, inhale, exhale. 
reach and twist. Your shoulder is lifting. That's your elbow. So lift up a little higher, everybody. Lift the upper body a little higher. Reach towards that knee. Keep going. Make sure that band is secure under your feet. Yeah, we don't want it flipping up to your face. Keeping that tension, pushing apart and away. Three, two, one. Relax 10 seconds. Drop the head, get a breather. Woo. Think about pressing your back into the floor when you do this. Three, two, final round, go. Lift up, let's go. Inhale, exhale. Gonna get your legs a little lower. Can you twist a little more? Woo. Can you slow it down? That is harder. Slow it down, oh my gosh. Lift that shoulder. Keep your chin up. I know there's so many different things to think about. Keep going, four, three, two, and one. Okay, band above the knees. Let's switch it up. All right, plank taps. It can be the hop or the tap right above the knees. We're gonna start on those elbows, tucking those hips. We're starting in three, two, Let's go, set it up. We can start with a tap, right and left. The key here is keeping your legs straight. It's easy to bend at those knees, but I want legs straight. Maybe it's a hop. Maybe they're plank jacks. 10 seconds. If we're doing the plank jacks, don't want those hips drop too much. You're almost there, legs straight. Three, two, one. Relax, knees down, quick, quick breather, 10 seconds, two more of those. This time up on your hands, we'll switch it up. Up on your hands, ready, set, go. Ground plank, tap, center, other leg. Pushing against that band. Woo. Keeping your gaze in front of your fingertips. Let's go, let's go. You're looking right in front of those fingertips. Tap or hop. You got seven seconds. Yeah. Ah. You that belly button in a little tighter. And stop. Ten seconds. Woo. One more, y'all. Can you draw that belly button in a little bit more? Three, two, your choice. Hands or elbows. Go. Your choice. Last one. Maybe do both. 30 seconds. I'll let you know when we're halfway. Come on. Can you get those legs a little straighter? Keep it up halfway if you want to switch. Maybe drop to your elbows or come up to your hands. 10 seconds. Maybe try a couple hops. Okay. Couple plank jacks. Keep it up, keep it up everybody. Three, two, one. Okay, last one. Last exercise, come on to a seated position. Take that band off. We're almost there. We're gonna do one final upper body. So we're in the seated position. You're gonna hold the band like this. You're gonna lean back and just pull one arm at a time up and row. So as one arm rows, the other one stays straight like a bow and arrow. And that's how we get that resistance and we feel our obliques, okay? Here we go, three and two. Let's go, inhale, exhale, I'm gonna pull back that right arm. That center, switch left. Inhale up, exhale, row, lift, and row, alternating those arms. Woo, so you're bringing those elbows all the way back, 10 seconds, keep your chest up. Other arm stays straight, big bow and arrow. Three, Two and stop. Take 10 seconds. Push yeah. through those arms. Shoulders down, chest up. Bow and arrow twist. Round two. Ready, set, go. Draw that navel in towards your spine. Inhale, exhale. This is how we finish. I want you to look over that shoulder as you pull. Keep going. Inhale and exhale. A little harder, legs straight. Keep going, a couple more seconds. Legs straight, a little harder, or feet even off the floor if you want it. Keep going, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. Okay, one last round, one last round, okay? 
And this one, we're just gonna stay low. And you're just gonna pull right and pull left. Just finish with that bow and arrow. Get as low as you can. Ready, set. <clears throat> Get as low as you can. Go. Right, left. Stay low. Woo! Feel that shake in those abs. Come on. Stay low. Maybe feet off the floor for this final one. Keep those arms straight until you row. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Couple more seconds. Get a little lower. Can you go for four? Chest up. Three. Pull back a little more. Two. And one. Woo! Good job, yeah. everybody. Do a butterfly stretch. You want those soles of the feet together. Ooh, a nice deep breath here, pushing those knees out. Take a nice inhale and exhale, gently fold forward. Awesome job. Okay, just one more breath here and then we'll really get into those hips. Even a nice stretch. All right, bring those legs back together. Let's come all the way down into our back. Nice and easy, make your way down. Oof. Bend the knees. Go ahead and winch your way for those legs from side to side. Stretch it out. Awesome work. Ooh, muscles should be burning. Joints should be feeling really good. All right, feet about hip distance. Let's do a couple bridges here. Just lift those hips off the mat gently as you exhale. Inhale, lower down. Let's just do two more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Last one. Just nice and easy here. Lift up and lower. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Wiggle those ankles, rock side to side. Okay, drop the knees to the right all the way. Look over that left arm. Final uh, twist. Uh, Woo. And then slowly uh, back to the center. Inhale. Exhale, drop uh, to the left. Knees all the way in. Uh, that right shoulder. Twist and hold. Slowly back to the center. All right. Extend those legs out. Reach the arms overhead, make yourself nice and long, stretch out those abs that we just worked. Inhale and exhale, let's roll to one side. We're gonna get into our hips and glutes. We worked them a lot today. So you can stay down and do this pretzel stretch. If you are okay with pigeon pose, we're gonna take pigeon pose. So we're gonna start with our legs to the top of our mat. Back leg three, back behind you. Take a nice big inhale and exhale, look uh, onto your elbows. Uh, if you want to stretch, move to the right a little bit. Uh, Over that right leg. If you're in that pretzel, you're just hugging those legs into your chest. And we're going to slowly come up. Let's switch into the other side. So very carefully come out of that pigeon. Let's switch and bring our left leg to the top of the mat, right leg behind you. If you want a further stretch, go over onto those elbows and maybe lean to that left side a little bit. If you're on your back, you're just crossing that other angle. Pull here. Ooh, breathing into those tight spaces. And then very slowly come back up. And then everyone's gonna find a nice downward facing dog. So take your time, lift those hips up and back. When you're ready and pedal out your heels one at a time. And then both together at the same time. Press your chest to your thighs, nod your head yes. Shake your head no. And then inhale, lower those knees. Exhale, let's roll up to standing. Nice and slow, your head comes up last. And once you're at the top, we'll take a couple shoulder rolls to finish. Roll it back, shake it out. Yeah. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, bend the knees, let it go. Shake it out one more time, inhale and exhale. Awesome work, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Way to go. Make sure to get lots of water. Enjoy the beautiful day.